Hey everybody, it's Todd, All Things Archery and Shooting, and today I'm going to talk about how to use fletching tape. Okay, if you do a lot of feathers for traditional arts like I do, you'll find that fletching tape, after you get used to using it, it works a lot better than, say, for instance, super glue, duco cement, or even the old standby boning, fletch tight. Okay, if you use the boning one, which is the best, they've got the one, but boning is the best one I've come across. I've used other ones, but boning is the best fletching tape out there. It comes in a little roll like this. This roll will do probably three to three and a half dozen arrows of five inch and about four dozen arrows of four inch, okay? And it's pretty easy to use. It just takes a little bit of different complex to do it. What you're going to need is you're going to need a um, an arrow. These are carbon arrows. And if you're ever using carbon arrows, I always recommend that you put a, a wrap on them. Main thing being, if you ever damage your feathers or your fletching, you just pull the wrap off without damaging your carbon, put a new wrap on it, put new, a new feathers on it. Otherwise, you got to scrape the feathers off the carbon, take a chance on nicking your carbon, so you don't want to do that. So, get, you want to get you get a carbon arrow. You're going to need a jig here set up. We're using a Bitsenberger jig. Okay. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your, your feather... You want to stick your feather into your jig, okay? Line up with your mark, wherever your mark is, okay? Now the way this tape works is pretty simple. You just find the end of your tape here, okay? And the trick to this tape on there, you want to cover the whole quill. The whole quill of the arrow you want to cover up. So what you do here is you put it on here like this and go a little bit at a time. Not a lot, just bring it down a little bit of time, run your finger across it, just like this, okay? Keep doing that. Alright. Which one do you want to cover the whole quill? If you don't get the whole quill, it won't work. You be sure you cover the whole quill, okay? Very important you cover the whole quill, not part of the quill. Keep going. Just like that. And then when you get the end of your feather. You need, a very, you need a sharp pair of scissors. Take a sharp pair of scissors. You want to cut about, you want to leave about an eighth of an inch tail on there. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, you see this? You have an eighth of an inch tail on there, roughly an eighth of an inch, all right? Now what you do with that tail is you want to go ahead and push it down on top of your, your jig like that. And run your back of your thumb down the arrow, back and forth, to seat that tape. Do it a couple times, get it nice and seated, okay? Now what you want to do is take your finger and run that. Now what you want to take a sharp knife and just grab the edge of that. Kind of hard to show this on camera, but you want to get the edge of that right there. See, now you got the edge. And peel it off like that, okay? Now you've got your arrow. Now you go over here to your knot, to your Bitsenberger jig. Okay. Set this down. Bring it down here. This is how it looks like now. It's just already taped on there, ready to go. Okay. Set your Bitsenberger. Be sure you set your, your cock feather correct. Put the back in first and just push down. Give it about three or four seconds. Take the clamp off and that little tail you see right there. Points out, see that little tail, extra tail we got right, can you see it right there at the very end of the feather? Just take your finger and run that, get that to protect the end of the feather. Now you want to go ahead and rotate your clamp. Let's put the next one on. Same thing. Grab your feather. You want to put it in your clamp. Make a note of where your mark is, they're all the same. And I always test mine to make sure it's okay on my clamp before I put anything on. I'll go ahead and I'll walk over and I'll just test it make sure it's lined up correctly with my other feathers. Like that one is. Okay. And then the same thing. Do the exact same thing. Rinse and repeat basically. You want to take your thing here and you want to put it right there. And just do a little at a time and cover that whole, that whole um, quill up. Just like that. Okay, you want to be sure you get the whole quill. Don't miss any of the quill. Okay, you see I'm doing a little bit of time coming down the quill. Okay, 
you get to the end, take your sharp scissors, and you want to cut off just a little bit of that quill. Let me leave about an eighth inch, cut it off. That leaves you an eighth inch there. Run that down on top of that. Same thing, run your finger across your quill like this. Make sure it's seated all the way down. Take that, and then take your thing. You want to peel that piece of paper off. This is essentially double sticky tape, what this is. And just grab it like that. So here it's coming up now. And peel it off, okay? And do the same thing over here. Look on your thing, put your back in first. And slowly drop it down. Just push down a little bit on it, give it two or three seconds for that taped it here. Pop it off and turn. Okay? Let's do one more. Again, get your color, get your, your thing, drop it in here. Line it up. Test fit it. When I'm test fitting, I'm just test fitting the with nothing on it, just so it lines up with this and this. Make sure it's lined up and not moved on me, okay? Before I go ahead and seal it now. All right. Go here. Now, I get this all done up again. Okay, it's on there now. Like I said, just take it, run your, run the back of your thumb on that, all the way down. Lock that in down really good. Take your knife, just peel it up, just like that. Okay. Come back over here now. Look at your how you got it set up. Be sure you're lined up. Put the back end down first and drop it in, just like this, nice and straight. Okay. Once it's in there nice and straight, give your second pop it off. Now this arrow is done. Now the last thing you want to do with this arrow, okay, so what you want to do once you get it out, get your last feather out of, the, out of the clamp, out of the jig, you want to make a V out of your finger and your, your forefinger and your thumb. You want to just run it down the grain of the feather on each quill, just like this, okay? Run it down each quill. And what that's going to do, it's going to help seat that all the way down. Then go through and go ahead and push that little tail in, the eighth inch tail in you had there, to help lock those bottoms in, in. And it gives it a nice, super clean look. See that? So why do we use fletching tape over, say, the cement? Well, for one, cement, if you use cement, you have to take a feather, stick it in here, run a bead of glue down it, like this here, drop it into your fletching jig, you got to wait five to ten minutes, depending on the glue you use, for it to set, before you can take it off and rotate to the next one. So you're looking at about a minimum of 15 minutes to do one arrow with glue, okay? With fletching tape, in that same 15 minutes, I can do three to four arrows easily. Maybe five if I really push myself. The fletching tape's also much cleaner to use. It doesn't leave any glue marks or glue lines on your, on your arrow. As you can see here, once you get it all done, it's just a super clean... Um, install. There's no glue line, no glue marks, no nothing. And it's super strong. I've never had one of these come off. I'm ever, ever, ever come off. They're super strong and they hold it real well. They're also fully waterproof too once they set. Once this stuff sets up, it takes, it sets up instantly to hold there, but after about four to six hours, it's completely glued on solidly. If you try to tear it off, you'll tear that, you'll tear that um, wrap out before you tear the arrow off. So it's really strong stuff. Main reason I use this is because it's quicker. It is costing more. This roll is about $15 for a single roll. You'll get about four dozen five inch arrows out of it. And you'll get, maybe you'll get five dozen, um, I'm sorry. You'll probably, with five inch arrow fletchings, you'll get three and a half dozen out, out of one roll of tape. If you go to four inch, you'll get, a, you'll get just over, you'll be able to do four and a half dozen. So compare that to like boning. This stuff here is about $8 a tube, and normally I can get between 
eight and ten dozen arrows out of this because I put this into a glue bottle which looks like this which has a really small thin spout on it so it's actually easier to, um, to place it but I'll get about eight to ten dozen arrows out of a, out of a tube of this and that runs eight dollars you're looking this fifteen dollars about three and a half to four and a half dozen arrows depending what size fletching you use this only works with feather fletching. I don't know if it'll work with the um, with veins or not. I've haven't tried it with, I've, but I've always used it with my feather fletching, and it works really good. Um, like I said, it gives it a nice clean finish. It's super strong once it hardens completely. Um, like I said, in a few hours, those arrows will be so strong. You, if you tear them off, you'll tear your wrap off. You can go shoot them right now if you want right away. They'll hold up. But after four hours, that that this tape sets in and it becomes super super strong. All right. It's also much cleaner than say super glue. Super glue can be messy. You get all of your fingers to stick to it. And if you use it on, use super glue on these kind of on these wraps. More times than not, the super glue will cause the paint or the dye in these wraps to run. It looks really ugly. So, and Duco cement really doesn't work good on wraps. It works great on bare wood, like bare wood shafts and bare carbon shafts, but it doesn't work so good on wraps. Your boning clutch tie will work on all of them, but it just takes a little bit longer to set up. So. Anyway, that's the reason I use fletch tape. If you ever try to give it a shot, it works. It, it goes on quick. It's easy to do. It does take a little bit of getting used to. And you got to have pretty good eyes. That's why I wear reading glasses when I do it. But other than that, it gives it a really clean look. Just remember, you want to cover the whole quill up when you do it. All right. Well, this has been taught all things archery and shooting. Hope this has been a good tip for you. Remember, boning fletching tape. I've used others, but this is the best one. Get your roll of that and try it out on your next on your next dozen arrows. I think you'll like it. And until next time, guys. Ciao.